Megan Good has finally found a new man and the entire internet is in a meltdown because the new man is none other than actor Jonathan Majors. Megan has been getting a lot of hate for this new relationship and it looks like she is getting sick and tired of it because she has finally opened up about what is really going on. Okay, so I don't know what they put in the water over at Hollywood, but it's got to be something serious because it seems like everybody keeps dating the most random people ever. And now TMZ is reporting that Megan Good and Jonathan Majors are dating. I don't know about y'all, but this is as strange as it gets because ain't no way. But according to TMZ, this is actually true and they said, over the course of the last several weeks, Jonathan and Megan have gotten close and the relationship is fairly new. I mean, they're both single, so they're both free to do what they want to do. Well, at least Megan is single, but we don't know where Jonathan and his girlfriend stand after the DB case. We're going to get to that later because it's quite interesting. Not only are Megan and Jonathan dating, but eyewitnesses also reported to TMZ that they were spotted on a movie date a couple of days ago at the Alamo Draft House in LA. This means they are not bothered with trying to keep things private or low key. This feels kind of weird to me because both Jonathan and Megan are not the type to flaunt their relationship publicly, but hey, I guess people change. Megan has been divorced for a year and a half now, but this is not the first time she has been linked to someone after the divorce. My girl Meg has been living it up and enjoying the single life since her divorce from Devon Franklin, and I am here for it. A couple of months after her marriage ended, she was romantically linked to rapper Disaster. Now, Megan and Disaster have been friends for a while before this, so it wasn't like he was a stranger or anything like that. They were gym buddies and he somehow managed to get out of the bro zone and got her to notice him. According to sources at the time, Meg and battle rapper Disaster are reportedly dating. The two started off as workout partners in the Los Angeles area, but now people close to both Meg and Disaster believe that the two are dating. And Disaster decided to rub some salt in the wound and he posted these pictures of him and Megan looking all cozied up. He wrote, Twitter people, how mad are you on a scale of one to infinity? Judging by the comments on the post, I think it's safe to say that people were very, very mad. There's this one comment in particular that said she went for the exact opposite of her ex. And I want y'all to keep this in mind because it's going to explain her current relationship with Jonathan Majors. In case you didn't know, Jonathan has been in a hell of a mess for the past couple of weeks because of his ongoing legal cases. Y'all remember his DV case with his ex-girlfriend? Well, I'm saying ex because I'm assuming they've broken up since then, but the case is still going on and it has kind of gotten worse. TMZ was the first to report on the case and they revealed that Jonathan and the woman had been arguing and for some reason, this got Majors mad and he allegedly grabbed her hand and allegedly slapped her. We're also told the alleged victim claims he put his hands around her neck during this. Our sources tell us the alleged victim had visible injuries, including a laceration behind her ear, redness, and marks to her face. She was taken to an area hospital and is in stable condition. He was smart enough to lawyer up immediately and his lawyer immediately released a statement saying Jonathan Majors is completely innocent and is probably the victim of an altercation with a woman he knows. We are quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that all charges will be dropped imminently. Yeah, well, it looks like she was a little bit overconfident because Jonathan had a hearing for his charges a couple of days ago. He currently faces three counts of attempted assault as well as assault, one account of aggravated harassment, and a separate count of harassment. And unlike his lawyer's beliefs, none of the charges were dropped. And to make things even worse for him, his lawyer released a screenshot of a text message between Jonathan and the victim. Now, the lawyer was probably trying to help his public image or something, but the text ended up doing more harm than good because the victim said, they assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry that they did and I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told him it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of the hospital. Yeah, the lawyer was dead wrong for releasing these texts because it just made him look 
feel more guilty. And as if that's not bad, more women have allegedly come forward to also accuse Jonathan. Plus, a couple of people in the industry have also exposed him for being cruel. A filmmaker named A.B. Allen was the first to hint at this when he tweeted, there's a particular actor relatively new on the scene who Twitter has violently fallen head over heels for, who in actuality is a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, both professionally and in his personal life, and every new viral thirst tweet about him drives me insane. Now, this tweet was about a month before the whole DV incident, but when Jonathan got exposed, someone went back to quote Allen's tweet saying, now we know who this tweet was about. And Allen confirmed it saying, ding, ding, ding. That's not all because Tim Nikolai, who worked with Jonathan on Broadway, also slammed Jonathan saying, I'm just gonna say this about Jonathan Majors and be done with it. Folks at Yale and the broader NYC community have known about him for years. He's a sociopath and abuser, and that is how virtually everyone speaks about him. It's a shame it took this long for him to be reported. As I said, Jonathan is in a hot mess, and his reputation is not the only thing at stake. His career is also at stake because there have already been speculations that he might lose his role as Kang the Conqueror in the MCU. So with everything that's going on, it's impressive that he has still found some time to fall in love and start a new relationship. Unfortunately, people are not in support of the relationship because they think that Megan could do better. They feel like Jonathan is only using her to clean up his image because he knows how much she is loved by the black community. They want her to dump him immediately before he pulls her down with him. Now, now, remember this tweet about Megan wanting a different person from her ex, Devon? Well, according to insiders, this is exactly why Megan is with Jonathan. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but she has been in her baddie era since she got divorced. Sources claim that while Megan felt sad about her marriage ending, she has also been feeling very free because the marriage was kind of restricting to her. She had to hide parts of herself because she was constantly getting judged, but now she just wants to have fun and live. It's not clear how serious her relationship with Jonathan is, but another insider claimed that Megan loves how she can be as wild as possible with him and is not paying any attention to all the hate online. But people are not seeing things from her point of view and they left comments saying, a man who is known to date white women is suddenly dating a black woman in the midst of his case where he's being accused of being an abuser and multiple victims have now come out. Sis, at best, you're letting yourself be used to launder his image. At worst, you chose him. And I'm so tired of these black male actors such as Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Major and their PR teams using a black woman to save their careers after their preference tries to ruin it. Megan Good is too good to clean up others' mess. However, there are people who are loving this for Megan and are defending her online, like this person that said, Nicki Minaj married and had a baby by a registered sex offender and black women still praise her every single day, but they draw the line with Megan Good dating Jonathan Majors. And this other person that tweeted, Jonathan Majors and Megan Good, is this for real? Only time will tell, but I'm hoping that they both find true love. Child, these two have the internet in shambles, but I wanna know what you guys think about this. Do you think Jonathan is really using Megan or do you think it's true love? Drop your thoughts in the comments and then check out this next video.